Here is a setup for Daniel cell. It contains two containers. One has a copper sulfate solution and the other has zinc sulfate solution. Let's now take a zinc rod and dip it in zinc sulfate solution. And let's dip a copper rod in copper sulfate solution. Now, let's connect the two rods using wires. And uh, we also put a switch and a voltmeter. The two solutions are also connected using a salt bridge, which has an inert electrolyte, for example, potassium nitrate. Now, as soon as the switch is closed to complete the circuit, current starts flowing from copper electrode to the zinc electrode. And that can be confirmed by the deflection of needle in the voltmeter. Let me write down the reaction that takes place at the zinc electrode. So, as you can see, zinc gets oxidized and acts as anode. Now, two electrons are released in the process. These two electrons are then transferred by the wires to the copper electrode, where they are absorbed by the Cu2 plus ions to form copper. So, copper electrode acts as a cathode, and here is the reaction that takes place at the cathode. So, what is the net reaction that takes place in Daniel's cell? Here it is.